So good morning everyone, welcome to Jet Junkies Live here on Jet Junkies Live and Air Live. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hope everyone's very well. We're here for a very special morning sunrise show to celebrate 50 years of the Queen of the Skies. We've got some arriving aircraft in the stack. And here comes your next one now. I'm just going to get that for you. Nice camera work, Andy. She's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Loving the vapors. When that, gear, when that main gear hits down, that dummy wheel in the middle helps support all that weight. So that aircraft nearly 20 years old. There's still condensation, even on the little ones. They're all bringing it out this morning. Uh, Ryan Goldner, hello from Michigan, USA. Good to see you here. Robert Watson, fly me to the moon. Jay Ashini, good morning to you from India. Don Stevens, good morning Heathrow. So thanks for joining us this morning, we are Jet Junkies, we are live from London Heathrow on 27 left and we are getting the incoming aircraft today. This is a special tribute to the Queen, the 747. Fantastic landing. So next arrival is the Qatar A380, followed by the 737-800 MAX, Air Canada, and then we've got the retro livery Air Lingus following that.
She is screaming. So much noise from two engines doing all the reverse thrust. And we've also got Dreamliner, Dreamliner's over there by the sheds with obviously the missing engines on them as they're under repair. You can see the red covers on the under the wings. Right, next arrival, Andy. I'm sure there's a lot of love as well for the A380. Let's see who we've got in the chat with us. We've got uh, Danny Wong from Malaysia. Wendy van der Vecks with us. Good morning to you, Wendy. Here we go. Next arrival, it's the Aer Lingus Retro Livery. She's absolutely beautiful in that livery. Uh, we've also got another surprise uh, for us. Joining the stack now is the new Flyby Dash in the new livery. So that was your Thai 777 300ER, all the way from Bangkok. The size of that tail. <laughs> it almost looks as long as Concorde. Right, next arrival coming in, Andy. We have our photographer down with us, uh, Mike. You could get some really good tight shots on the back of those engines uh, on the exhaust with the sunlight on them at the moment. If I had to put it Mike's interchanging lenses like, uh, like you wouldn't believe. And a few things which we want to put to everyone watching today is we want to see if you can name all the current airlines which have a queen in service. Let's see if we can get them all by the end of the show. We've got a list of them all in front of us and we'll tick them off as we go along. Which particular Queen model? Was it the original 100, the 200? Any fans of the SP? Obviously the more commonly seen 400 and of course the new Dash 8 Intercontinental. Swiss A220. Oh, 
Oh, she greased that. <laughs> Stunning landing. Salute to you. Zubar Khan, loving it. Mark Flyby Dash 8 in the new livery. I'm not sure how everyone else feels, but I always love the sound of the prop. Yeah, mixed opinions here on the 747. I'm a fan of the, the Dash 8. I love the new rate ring, wing tips, the bigger engines. That Virgin A33300 all the way from New York. So we've got another Swiss A220 due in next. This one's in, the, in a special livery. We'll get that one coming in now, and just just following that A300 across the uh, active. So what do you think of the livery on that aircraft? Obviously the new, we're going, we're obviously talk, staying on the subject of the A220, there was the Baltic, uh, Air Baltic A220, I had a really nasty bird strike this week. That was a brand new aircraft, only uh, just over a week old. With some uh, severe damage to the front of the aircraft. Anyone a fan of the Neo? A320 Neo, that one from Lufthansa. And we've just got that Qatar ready to cross the active to the left. We're going to give Andy a big up uh, for his fantastic camera work in these colder conditions. Absolutely stunning London. Absolutely beautiful. That 
777 200ER all the way from Buenos Aires and that was a nearly a 14 hour flight. That is a long one isn't it? So our photographers just confirmed we've got two queens on approach one after the other and we're going to get both of them coming in. We're going to be right underneath them and we're going to get right up and close to them. Your next arrival is going to be the 747 Queen of the Skies, 747-400 from Dallas. I know there's someone in who's watching with us today who's got a special interest in that aircraft. What a beautiful landing. If anyone ever wanted to see a textbook landing, that's gotta be it. Okay, Andy, just above there to your left, you can see that Qatar 777 just heading up and south of the airfield. on both groups. Uh, Lloyd Rolls asking, do we video departures as well? We certainly do. Absolutely loving that wing flex on that aircraft. Full spoilers. And we've got a 787 crossing the active now. Amman Air, which we saw recently at Birmingham, as it was in for its uh, engine repairs. It's the Trent 1000. Okay, here you go, Andy. Here's that A34600 Virgin Atlantic. Enjoy it, folks. That was VS-10 all the way from uh, New York, JFK. Absolutely stunning aircraft and it's a shame uh, they're slowly on the decline now. Obviously efficiency is number one and priority for most airlines now. And these older four engine aircraft are slowly becoming obsolete. But we've got them here today and we are going to enjoy every single one of them, especially the uh, BA Queens which we've seen so far and we'll see come in as we do celebrate them today. So we know there was a few people waiting for a 777, there you go, and we've got another one in the stack as well. So obviously we are here to celebrate the 747 Queen of the Skies today, so we're going to go through a few facts about her. 
about her history. So here's a few facts about the um, operation of a 747 as far as getting it operational ready to use in service. A total of 27,000 separate items have to be stocked on a 747-400 before it departs on a long-haul flight. With space at such a premium, calculated calculations are made to ensure sufficient quantities for 377 passengers are carried without waste and to keep down fuel costs. The items loaded include no more than 233 toothpicks, 58 loo rolls, 2,000 ice cubes, 5 per passenger, 1,263 items of cutlery, 340 safety cards, nearly 1,300 items of crockery, 650 paper cups, 340 blankets, 5 first aid kits, 220 drink stirrers, 750 glasses, 100, 104 bottles and 330 quarter bottles of wine, 300, 440 sickness bags, 1.15 per passenger on average, and 165 bags of nuts and club well. There you go. Okay, so we've got a few comments asking to look at specific aircraft here. If there is a specific aircraft, just let us know and we will try and find it on the airfield. Next arrival, Andy. That's the Amman Dreamliner that crossed the active over in front of us recently. Yeah. We did stack. Damn lorry. And there she is, very majestically landing on the wrong side, <laughs> we needed her over this side. So some great tail shots there from Andy, you'll see that, seven, uh, that SAS Neo which just arrived recently. Right, the queen that's been sat in front of us for most of the show now is actually moving. Oh, we've got that nice virgin arriving right behind it over the maintenance sheds. That aircraft gets better looking every day. That's an interesting question. That, and that's a good interesting question to put to everyone. Uh, your favourite? Do you have a preference over the A350 or the 787? Uh, Niall Gladwin pointing out the 737 MAX from Warsaw. You know, who are you flying with? So that's two maxes we've caught this morning.
What a beautiful landing that was. Absolutely loving that aircraft. Give us some thumbs up, some love if you enjoyed that 777 landing. Anyone a fan of that particular livery? I do personally prefer it myself. Loving that wing flex. Beautiful landing from that Dreamliner. One of our favourites. So much love for that landing, and then I'm sure there's gonna be so much for the next aircraft doing next. We're gonna get that one as it approaches over the trees. Love that landing from the 747. Four spoilers in action there, peacocking at the end of the runway. RB 211s. It doesn't get a lot better than that, does it? Those sleek lines. Silky smooth landing. I wonder what lads. Aerodynamics to die for on that aircraft. What a stunning and beautiful aircraft. So another stunning landing there. So that A380 is on its way, heading on its way down towards uh, the art direction. So anyone who's a particular fan of any special liveries, here's your Expo one on the A380. We did see this land earlier on this morning, we just missed it unfortunately. Uh, some of the information which we have here, which we wanted to discuss. Uh, there was some undeveloped variants of the aircraft. There was the 747 Trijet in the beginning. Of course, the Trijets were a popular option of aircraft engine variation. There was the ASB, the 500X, the 600X, the 700X, 747X, 747X Stretch, and the 747 400 XQLR as well. All of these versions never unfortunately made it into production. And here's your next arrival. Air India, 788. I think you've got to say that was the perfect landing, wasn't it? Oh yeah, Absolutely. for a manual landing that was perfect. 
noisy as well. <laughs> They're in there, um, in a very vulnerable position at the moment. So they go with this point of view too. Yeah. Another stunning uh, landing there, Andy. Fantastic landing today. As we're saying, the weather is good for it. Wow, someone's making some noise somewhere. I can't, but that's definitely can't be that uh, that triple seven. That was an interesting landing. Bounced. <laughs> Bounced, yeah. Well, I thought you went down. That was the left left hand main gear went down, the the front end went down and then the right end uh, gear after it. That be yeah, more than likely. We are aware there is those sheds do affect the uh, wind oh, across yeah. here. So that is it folks. Thank you ever so much for joining us here today. Thanks to everyone who's come down to see us, everyone with us today, our team with us. Thanks to Lars, Mike, Glenn, obviously Andy, when he falls out. Thanks to everyone who's joined us and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please check out our website, jet-junkies.com. To see our next show, we will announce it shortly. And uh, if for anyone who didn't see our show last night, which was our sunset special, uh, that was an absolute peach of a show. Please go and check it out. You can do that on Air Live or on our Jet Junkies Live page and also on our YouTube page. And we hope to see you all again very, very soon. Keep safe.